Clara E. Breed was a librarian at the San Diego Library from 1929 until 1945, and she stood for decency and justice. She was a mentor to many young Japanese Americans in the San Diego area and serves as an inspiration for many today. As the Japanese Americans were being relocated during World War II, Ms. Breed made her children promise to write to her. She distributed stamped envelopes to all the children and continued correspondence with them as they wrote to her. In addition to the letters, Ms. Breed sent the children gifts and books. Many of the libraries in the camps were filled with the, with the books that Ms. Breed had provided. This collection features 15 of the letters written to Ms. Breed from the children in the camps, a small fraction of all the letters she saved. The letters discuss various issues from everyday camp life to the school situation to Christmas and so on. To see more letters, please visit the Japanese American National Museum website. The collection ends with a letter written by Miss Breed herself to a dear friend, Tetsuzo Hirosaki. Miss Breed kept these letters until 1990 when she gave them to Elizabeth Yamada, one of her former correspondents. Yamada donated these letters to the Japanese American National Museum in 1993. Because of Ms. Braid, we have eyewitness reports and a better sense of what camp life was really like. April 14th, 1942. Dear Ms. Breed, thank you kindly for your letter and the postcards. I guess you were surprised we were still in San Diego till 1 a.m. Wednesday morning. Trying to sleep on the train was very difficult. On the whole trip, I only slept two hours. We reached Santa Anita at 10 a.m. I am living in a four-room house, which is very plain. Around 11 houses compose a barrack. One house has two rooms, but ours has four since we have two houses. There is plenty of room for children to play. Recreation programs have been established. Yes, there are churches, but no schools yet. We San Diegans eat in a cafeteria style in the place. The service is excellent. They serve 2,000 people in 20 minutes. There are many San Diego waiters and waitresses working there. Sincerely, Margaret Arakawa. Dear Ms. Breed, this is just a line to let you know that we received the books that you recently sent. I want to thank you for all those wonderful books that you sent. I can't tell you in words how much we all appreciated them. We're in a strange place, Pasta, Arizona. I doubt whether that's even on the map. It's located near Parker, a small town. We're located in the southwestern part of Arizona by Jack Watanabe. Dear Miss Breed, we really have a feeling of isolation here. Of course, we have contact with the outside world daily. The newspapers, radio, Sears orders, and mail. Yet, we do not feel the pinch of war acutely, nor do we feel it directly. The war is watched, yet we don't feel a part of it. We feel isolated. Sincerely, Fususa Migari. May 21st, 1942. Dear Miss Breed, thank you very much for your lovely letter. Yesterday, the temperature was 105 in the shade. I have a feeling this heat is going to continue for quite a long time. Baby Thomas is a good boy on the whole, but this weather is too much for him. I miss going to our famous zoo. Mrs. Benchley's book, My Life in a Man-Made Jungle, was a great adventure for me and told me the true facts of our San Diego Zoo. There is so much to be done in, in, in a day. My baby brother keeps me quite busy. If there happens to be in, any discarded books, you would think I certainly would enjoy. I would certainly appreciate them. Thanks a million for the delicious candies. They were very, very delicious indeed. Sincerely, Louis Agua. August 14th, 1942. Dear Miss Breed, I received the book yesterday. Thanks a million. It certainly is an interesting one. Last night I couldn't stop reading and mother had to tell me to turn off the light. The lights have to be off by 10 p.m. and oh, how I wished it could be on until I finished it. We are going to be given clothing. Today we handed in our order. I'm allowed $2.85 a month. We are allowed to order just certain things from the Sears catalog. The weather here is very unpredictable. It was either Monday or Tuesday, August 10th or 11th. For weeks and weeks it was extremely hot and then the next day all of a sudden it began to pour. The next day was again very hot. I am currently working on a three shift. This means that I work morning, noon, and night, eight hours a day. This does not give me much time to do anything else. I go washing in the evening after work and do my ironing and corresponding at this time as well. I should have written to you sooner, but I hope you will accept my apology. Most sincerely, Louise Agawa. Dear Miss Breed, 
We were evacuated in the first move from Santa Anita to Camp 3, Poston, Arizona, which is 23 miles from Parker. We left last Wednesday, August 26 at 8.30 and arrived here the next day at 3.30. Now the whole San Diego County has been reunited here. Everything is just fine, all except for the dust. The heat is around 100 and a little over, but I'm used to this from Santa Anita. I haven't heard from Miss Faye, so I presume she is on her way to the Pacific Coast. She wanted so much to come and see me at the end of August at Santa Anita, but now I'm too far. Miss Breed, thanks a lot for the past, and best wishes to you. Sincerely, Margaret Ishina. October 19, 1942. Dear Miss Breed, Christmas came early for us San Diegans and for those who live in Santa Anita. Our Sears clothing came Thursday. Florence was lacking a few things, but we are sincerely grateful for what the government has done for us. Little Florence and little Thomas both got an excellent pair of shoes. Florence could hardly wait to try them on. School here is very similar to the one in San Diego. We are using the California method. Florence seems much happier here than in San Diego because of her many Japanese classmates. Sincerely, Margaret Ishino. November 16, 1942. Dear Miss Breed, guess who? Yep, it's all unreliable again. None other than yours truly, Tetsuzo. Gosh, the wind's been blowing all night and all morning, kind of threatening to blow the roofs down. Dust is all over the place, kind of gives everything a fine coating of dust. Uh, I'm still working in the mess hall. Ugh, to have to get up early in the morning. It's around 38 in the morning. In the middle part of the afternoon, it's around 80. The mornings don't warm up until just about noontime. My arm is all right. Uh, not near so strong as Santa Anita, because I don't do any loading or unloading of supplies. I've been doing a little carpentry, as many of us don't have any furniture other than cots. I've got a clothes now that I can, so that I can make the outgoing mail. Uh, very yours truly, Tetsuzo. P.S. Have a nice Thanksgiving dinner. Do you think you could maybe bring me some peanut brittle? January 7th, 1943. Dear Miss Breed, I was overjoyed to hear from you and those lovely books you sent me. Thank you very much. When I saw them, it left me speechless with gladness and I cannot find words to express my feelings. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for all you have done for us Japanese. It is in times like these that we need all the friends we can get. It is our duty to keep these friends. Sincerely, Sako Watanabe. Dear Miss Breed, thank you very much for the book and the letter. I was very happy when I received it. Yesterday, we started a library of 10 books. The names were Wizard of Oz, Karma of the Golden Coast, Stella Dallas, Beautiful Bible Stories, Wuthering Heights, Rebecca, The Christ Child, and the three books you sent us. The library is going to open Monday. You made two cards for each book. We're having lots of fun playing library. Pretty soon, it's going to be a big library here. I already read my book, but I'm going to read it all over again. My friend and I made rules for the library. Today we got a third typhoid shot. It didn't hurt when I took it, but now it does. I just hope we don't get any more. Yesterday night we went to go see a show. The show had over 7,100 people there. The show is where they had the horse races. Our seats were clear up high in the grandstand. We couldn't see very good, but we enjoyed it very much. Yours sincerely, Elizabeth Kakushi. Dear Miss Bree, we arrived in Santa Anita on April 8th. We are just fine. I had a nice long train ride. The weather out here is quite cool. I would often look around for a book. I appreciate. Sincerely yours, Louise Agawa. Dear Miss Breed, 